Hi, this is Dr. Bob with Carolina Value Pet Care. Thanks for joining us today. In another video, we talked about feline leukemia. On this video, we're going to talk about feline AIDS, or FIV, which is feline immunodeficiency virus. Now, FIV is quite similar to HIV, the human AIDS, but they are completely different viruses, and they actually are transmitted differently. In the FIV, it is primarily passed through blood, through the saliva, through blood. Typically, not so much through casual contact with cats. Now, we talked about in leukemia, with leukemia, it's spread through blood and saliva, but cats that groom one another, it can be passed that way. With the FIV, in the overwhelming majority of cases, it is actually passed the, just through cat fights, through bite wounds, things of that nature. So we see it more often in, in male cats. Now, as I mentioned, while it is highly contagious, unfortunately, we don't don't have an, a, 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 an effective, uh, reliable uh, means of trying to protect it. There has been a vaccine in the past, but there were some issues with it. So personally, I don't know of any veterinarian who's actually using uh, the vaccine anymore because it's not always going to protect cats. The other consideration with the vaccine, because of the way it works in the body, if a cat has had the FIV vaccine, if they are tested, they will actually test positive with the test if they've had the vaccine. And we can't distinguish with those cats if they've actually been vaccinated or if they've actually been exposed to the virus. So for, that, one of the, for those reasons, we don't typically give the vaccine anymore. Um, Otherwise, uh, again, it is, a, it is a debilitating virus. It will make these cats feel really, really puny at times. It sort of kind of comes and goes, much like HIV in people. Um, I should mention, too, it is not a sexually transmitted disease in cats as it is in people. As I mentioned, it is a different virus, but it does have a very similar effect on the body as HIV in people. So best means of protection is just keep your cats away from other cats that you don't have any knowledge about, if that's possible. Now, I know if you've got an outside cat, greatly increases the risk. If he's not a fighter, then not as risky or not as much risk of exposure uh, to the virus as a cat that's uh, uh, getting into fights all the time. So hopefully that'll give you a, an overview of HIV, excuse me, FIV in cats. If you have any additional questions, please let us know. If you would like to come to one of our events, uh, go to carolinavaluepetcare.com and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye-bye.